We're back with another video and we're gonna show you guys some really awesome spots to eat at here in Sacramento. We started off our day at Camellia's Coffee Roaster and I got a latte with oat milk and brown sugar agave syrup. Let's give it a try. Mmm, just how I like it, not too sweet. And then we got our Nelly here today. She's joining us. Say hi Nelly. Nelly. Are you excited? She's excited to eat some good food. Let's go. All right, we're here at Tank House Barbecue and Bar. It is one of our favorite barbecue spots here in Sacramento for sure. If not the best one that we go to usually. So we got a meat treat, comes with brisket. I got a whole pound over here. Uh, mix lean and fatty and then you get two sides so our sides we like to get the onion rings and two cornbreads let's, go. let's eat so gonna hit this brisket as you can see that perfect pink smoke ring right there that's how you know dip it in the barbecue this is the spicy barbecue that they have and it's bomb Nice and sweet and spicy, that barbecue sauce and that brisket. Perfectly smoked, as always. Perfect chew to it. And then let's hit one of these onion rings. Mm hmm Lightly breaded. All right, I'm gonna use the sweet and tangy sauce for my brisket piece. Uh, put a little bit on there. Oh. <laughs> Yum. Mm. I need more sauce. Two thumbs up for me. Of course, got to share with our loved one, little Nelly. Sit. Whisper. Whisper. Good girl. <laughs> she deserves. Nelly approved. Please, last bite, the saddest bite. Good girl. Now ending our meal with the cornbread with a side of butter. Gotta get a good little dollop. Mm. Good old fashioned cornbread. Bomb. <laughs> Next stop is at Fish Face Poke. It is by the owner of Crew, which is our favorite sushi spot in Sacramento, and also the owner of Ramen Kadaiko, which was seen in our last Sacramento video. So this is basically like a just chill to go 
a poke spot. And we got the tuna, scallop, and cucumber, some seaweed, and masago and sesame, all over sushi rice. So you gotta mix that up. Get a little bit of everything in every bite. And you know this is some top-notch poke since it is by Crew, the most fresh sushi you could get in Sacramento. Mm. And our sauce choice was a yuzu ponzu, so it's nice and light without lemony and salty flavor. Mom. You already know our food tours are not complete unless we have a seafood option to eat. So I'm so excited to dive into this poke. We already know it's some quality stuff. Mmm. Some wakame on there, the masago, ooh, and tuna. Some scallops in there as well, along with the tuna. You wanna say where we are? Yeah, we're at Urban Roots. It's another like barbecue spot here in Sacramento. Our other go-to spot. We did show you guys Tink House, but this is our other favorite spot to go to if we're craving some good barbecue. All what right. did you get? And I got something different today. Usually I get the brisket like platter, but today I got the smokehouse dip. It is one of their burger and sandwich options, and it has sliced brisket, horseradish, caramelized onion, jack cheese. It's on a hoagie roll, and it's got a jus sauce on the side. It also comes with a side, and I got the sweet potatoes. They look delish. Joseph, what'd you get? I got a barbecue burger. It's basically what it sounds like. It's the beef patties, double burger, with double cheese. You can see all that goodness dripping out. Onion rings, uh, jalapenos, and some special sauce on there as well. I also usually get the brisket, but you guys already saw some brisket at our other spot. Wanted to show you guys a delicious burger here. Yeah. And a side of fries. Yama delish. Take a bite. Mm. That's juicy. <laughs> it is dripping. <laughs> My turn. I'm gonna dip it in here. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I took a really big bite. Mm. I think I like the brisket in the sandwich form. Mm. It tastes super good with the cheese and everything else in there. The caramelized onions. Yum. That's really good. How's yours? Delectable. And the fries are pretty bomb too. Nice and crispy. They're sweet potatoes? I'll try it out. Mm. They're coated with like brown sugar and cinnamon, so they're super sweet. They're not just plain. I remember um, being like a mashed sweet potato. Remember it was like that last time? Mm -hmm. It wasn't as good, but that looks way better. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Mm. But look at that burger. That's a damn good burger. I just had to switch it up. That just goes to show that their brisket platter and their sides, like their sandwiches and burgers are also good. Mm -hmm. So can't go wrong when you come to Urban Roots. Those jalapenos had that nice spice. Mm. We got Jeremy behind the camera. Mm -hmm. He agreed to film if we fed him, so. He, he got the brisket plate with a side of mac. Yum. <laughs> Show the camera. Focus on it. Nice. <laughs> All right, down to the last bite. Don't let that messiness fool you. It is bomb as bleep. Last bite, the saddest bite. <laughs> mm -hmm. That was a big last bite. That's like three bites for me. Mm -mm. I'm still working on mine, per usual. Don't mind me. She's a lady. Pinky's up. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So Urban Roots is also a brewery as well, so they have a lot of beer options in there for you. They have a nice big place inside to sit, but they also have an outdoor patio so you can bring your dog and stuff. So we hope you guys check it out and eat some good barbecue. <laughs> We got some oysters for the table and we're here at station 16. We're right in the heart of Midtown Sacramento. It's a super lively area and they have some really great options to eat. Stage 16 is kind of like a seafood restaurant and bar. So we got everything here for the seafood lovers. Um, we used to actually come here a lot, but we haven't been here in a while and it looks like they kind of revamped the place and added some new stuff on their menu. So I'm excited to try. Today is Monday, and they do an all-day happy hour on Mondays, and also Tuesdays now, I suppose. They just told us. So, we did have to get a half dozen of Blue Point oysters. I believe they're East Coast. Gotta get a little cocktail. Already got the lemon on there, and I believe vinaigrette. Just scoop it a little bit, make sure it's good to go. All right, and slurp. Hmm. Those are sweet. If you've never had raw oysters before, you should try them here. This is the first place that I've actually ate a raw oyster, actually, fun fact. And this is actually where me and Gabby had like one of our first real dates. Another fun fact. This was also <laughs> pre-COVID, so like years and years ago. Mmm, <laughs> sweet. Very good. I like that one. Gabriella loves her oysters. Mm. I had to show Joseph the way. <laughs> Next up, we have a nice little free meal appetizer. The garlic Cajun fries. We got some minced garlic on top and Cajun seasoning. Big ketchup dip. Mm. What I remember about this place is I have super crispy fries, not no lip fries. And they still deliver with that. So yummy. Mm. This will be a nice addition to our seafood boil that's actually coming right now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. As you can see, we got a little seafood boil here. I'll explain that after this french fry. Seafood boil that we ordered comes with Dungeness crab and prawns. It's called the small mix. I'd say it's about good for two people. I could probably eat this all by myself, but we'll share with Gabby today. And we also got collision sauce. So basically it's lemon butter, garlic, Cajun, and this nice simmered Dungeness crab and prawns. Yum. Yeah, when they bring it out, it's still boiling hot. So be careful, don't burn yourself. But yeah, we'll start out with one of these prawns. Peel it up. Also gotta be careful. We got these bibs on for a reason. Cheers. As good as I remember. So flavorful. This concoction that they create with the lemon butter, Cajun, and garlic is insane. Definitely one of the best seafood boils I've ever had. Especially here in Sac, this is like our go-to spot. We'll definitely be coming back again a lot. the crab for me. He's getting me a nice big piece Oop. because I don't like to crack it. It's not fun. She likes all the reward, doesn't like to do the work. <laughs> it's only princess treatment over here, people. Nice. Mm. <laughs> He's just feeding me here, people. <laughs> Oof. Dip it in the sauce. Dip it in that sauce. Mm. <laughs> no crab is safe. This one tried to get away from me. It couldn't. Mm. We love our seafood. Fractor open, my favorite part, the claw. The meaty claw. And I'm gonna dip it in that sauce. Up in the sauce. There's no such thing as too much sauce. 
Asian 16 has one of the freshest seafood in Sacramento. I stand by that. So out of this world amazing. Oh. Seriously though, if you're a seafood lover, this is your spot. All right, we're finishing up our plate now. Everything is gone. After a lot of mess and a lot of work, I'm on to my last bite. Just put some extra sauce on it. Bye bye prawn. Bye bye prawn. It was fun while it lasted, but last bite is a saddest bite. <laughs> I messed it out. Last bite the saddest bite. Dip, 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 and eat. Mm. All right, just finished with our amazing meal at Station 16. We really enjoyed it. And like we said before, it's mainly seafood there. So if you're a seafood lover, that's your spot. Yep, we also highly recommend the lobster roll and the oyster shooter. Yes. Those are two staples that we always usually get, mm -hmm. or we used to always get back in the day. They used to also have a oyster bar. Wish they brought that back, but it's okay. It yeah. just makes us nostalgic. Yeah, their new decor is still really nice though. Mm -hmm. Yep, still a go-to spot here in Sacramento. Yes. I think now we're just walking around. It's kind of a hot day, so I think we might get some ice cream. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. Yes. If you're a Sacramento local, you already know where we're going. Sacramento has super hot summer, so it's really nice that there's like a local ice cream shop that if you're a Sac native, you definitely know about. We went to Gunther's, check it out. Oh, the other side had the name too. <laughs> Sorry. Check that out though. So we got two of like the what they sell here. So they sell these real fruit freezes. I got the 50-50, so it's basically like a, a fruit free scoop and then ice cream in the middle. And I got guava, vanilla, pineapple, and Joseph, his is melting but he got a taro kitty scoop on a sugar cone. Yes, let, me just, let me just try this, cause you know, it is what melting. Mmm, <laughs> mmm, <laughs> nice and creamy. That one's mm -hmm. really good. Mmm, guava. Nice. Yummy. No. <laughs> no words, just ice cream. Scooper. They sell merch and stuff in there, and we saw an ice cream scooper for sale, and we need one, so. Picked one up. It's kind of cool because it says Gunther's also, so. <laughs> Pretty cool to have. That's all, folks. Thanks for coming along with us on our Sac food tour. We love Sacramento, and we hope you guys find a time to come visit and try out the really awesome food. Yep. We did film this video in the span of like three months. That's why you see all kinds of California weather. And yeah, hope you enjoyed. More Sacramento videos to come. Yes, so that means you guys better subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.